Hey guys, it's Monday. My name is Ronald Griffin for ArtificialAnimation.com and in this tutorial we'll just be taking a very quick look at uh, disabling resampling in Sony Vegas, also referred to as ghosting, uh, degrading image quality, uh, just generally bad. Um, it's not bad for all cases, resampling is useful. If you want to find out more about resampling I suggest you take it to Google but the the whole gist of the situation is that if you're editing game footage or anything that is um, basically perfect, I mean if you're recording with Fraps there's no imperfection when it comes to um, the source. The source is your graphic card and there's no imperfection along the way. There's no need to resample footage to blend frames. So the gist of it is that Sony Vegas likes to um, apply resampling for no apparent reason by default. And uh, let me just show you what resampling is, because if you don't know about it, then, well, you're being screwed over for probably a very long time if you're using Sony Vegas. However, if you do know about it, just uh, take this video as, um, you know, passing on some information that's pretty damn useful. Nothing advanced this Monday, just uh, teaching uh, you how to disable this so that you don't have to worry about this kind of um, thing happening. So if we look at this frame, we can see that for some reason we've got sort of like ghosting going on here. Um, you can see his arm three, maybe four times there. And that's uh, that's not good. I mean, if you play it back uh, and you know what you're looking for, you notice this. It's, um, it's not great. So if we just play this back right now. You can see uh, in the motion, it's not as fluid as it uh, should be. And uh, if we pause it, you know, we can see the resampling kicking in straight away. Now, what I don't understand is why uh, Sony Vegas doesn't have a feature built into the preferences somewhere or the properties or anywhere that just tells us to keep this disabled. Because the way we disable it is we right click switches, disable resample, and you can see, bam, it goes away. Um, now, why this isn't built in to have this off by default is beyond me. Um, I mean, I can start to see why people don't think it's worth the money when it doesn't have such a simple feature. Um, so what there is, is there's a script we can use. So let's say you have your whole project done and you know, you've got loads of small clips spread up. Um, you don't have to go through each one of them, right click and disable resampling. Um, what you can do is you can re disable resampling for every single clip that's in your project. Um, because if we just take the selection tool and we select them all, um, we can do it this way, but not if we select the audio. So we have to select just the clips, disable. Um, and of course, if you have loads of tracks and loads of different layers, that can become uh, pretty... I mean, it, we shouldn't need to be doing this stuff, is what I'm trying to say. Um, just quickly show you, Premiere does not, um, does not have any resampling by default. It's switched off. So to do this, go to the description and download the srd.zip. And this is a script. So once you go to download, extract the files. And what you want to do is you want to take the CS script and you want to drop it in your Sony Vegas uh, Pro folder. And once you're in your Sony Vegas Pro folder, um, you're going to look for the script menu folder. And it doesn't matter which uh, version you're on, these, these tend to stay the same. Just find the script menu folder. For me, it's program files Sony Vegas Pro script menu. And then we're just going to drop this in there. And of course, I've already got it installed, so I'm not going to touch that. But that's where you need to put it. Next time you restart Vegas, it'll be in the script menu. Um, you can run the script, or better yet, you can double-click on the bar up here, because you'll probably be using this more than once. If you double-click on it, you've got the customized toolbar. And if we scroll down, we find the scripts at the bottom here. And if we look for smart, let's see. Oh, sorry, it's, it won't be there. It's here. Basically, if I remove that, you'll see it's Smart Render, Re-Render, Disable. We just click Add, and it's over here in our current toolbar. We click Close, and the button's up here. So let's say we have these clips spread out, and we want to disable it for all of it. We just click one of them, and we hit the Smart Render, Disable, Re-Render, Disable, sorry. And it's disabled it for all the clips, not just one. And you can do this, you know, you can apply this for multi-layer stuff. You can see this horrible, absolutely horrible um, resampling here. And it's worse, the more motion there is, the worse it gets. So we just click one of those and disable. And that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, nothing too advanced this Monday, I'm afraid. Um, look back next Monday, hopefully I'll have something better. But uh, I hope this has brought the quality of your productions up and uh, made you aware sort of, of a feature that probably needs to be off most of the time, um, it sort of depends. If you need it on, you probably know what it does, so if you don't know what it is, probably best to turn it off. 
Anyway, my name is Ron Griffin for artificialanimation.com. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, put them in the comments, or send me a message through YouTube. If you like the video, please do like it on YouTube. It helps me get more views and it helps the video get featured. Uh, and of course, if you like content like this, please do subscribe. We come up with tutorials each Monday. All right, I'll see you next week.